The borders of the Roman Empire, which fluctuated throughout the empire's history, were a combination of natural frontiers most notably the Rhine and Danube rivers and man-made fortifications which separated the lands of the empire from the countries beyond. The Limes A Limes was a border fortification system of the Roman Empire. The Latin noun, limes, had a number of different meanings, a path or bach marking off the boundaries of fields, a boundary line or marker, any road or path, any channel, such as a stream channel, or any distinction or difference between two things. Hence it was utilized by Latin writers to denote marked or fortified frontiers. The name given to proper walls was vallum, which might have represented a border. In Britannia, the empire built two walls, one behind the other. For Mauritania, there was a single wall with forts on both sides of it. In other places, such as Syria and Arabia Petraea, there wasn't a continuous wall. Instead, there was a net of border settlements and forts occupied by the Roman army. In Dacia, the limes between the Black Sea and the Danube were a mix of the latter and the wall defences. The limes moji was the conjunction of two, and sometimes three, lines of vallum, with a great camp and many minor camps spread through the fortifications. It is now more common to accept that this is an anachronistic terminology, reflecting the views of modern scholars more than Roman reality. Limes was not used to indicate the imperial frontier or a fortified border. After the 3rd century it was an administrative term, indicating a military district, commanded by a duke's limitus. The northern borders In continental Europe, the borders were generally well defined, usually following the courses of major rivers such as the Rhine and the Danube. Nevertheless, those were not always the final border lines. The province of Dacia, modern Romania, was completely on the far side of the Danube, and the province of Germania Magna, which must not be confused with Germania Inferior and Germania Superior, was the land between the Rhine, the Danube, and the Elbe, although this province was lost three years after its creation as a result of the Battle of Teutoburg Forest. In Great Britain, both Hadrian and Antoninus Pius built defences to protect the province of Britannia from the Caledonians. Hadrian's Wall, constructed in 122 held a garrison of 10,000 soldiers, while the Antonin Wall, constructed between 142 and 144, was abandoned by 164 and briefly reoccupied in 208, under the reign of Septimius Severus. The Pannonian Limes The Eastern Borders The eastern borders changed many times, of which the longest lasting was the Euphrates River, eventually to be left behind as the Romans defeated their rivals, the Parthians, with the march on their capital, Susa in 115. The Parthians were a group of Iranian peoples can ruled most of Greater Iran that is in modern-day Iran, western Iraq, Armenia and the Caucasus. In 118 Hadrian decided that it was in Rome's interest to re-establish the Euphrates as the limit of its direct control. Hadrian returned to the status quo ante, and surrendered the territories of Armenia, Mesopotamia, and Adiabene to their previous rulers and client kings and didn't attempt to Romanize the Parthian Empire. The southern borders At the greatest extent of the empire, the southern border lay along the deserts of Arabia in the Middle East and the Sahara in North Africa, which represented a natural barrier against expansion. The empire controlled the Mediterranean shores and the mountain ranges further inland. The Romans attempted twice to occupy the Siwa oasis and finally used Siwa as a place of banishment. However Romans controlled the Nile many miles into Africa up to the modern border between Egypt and Sudan. In Africa Romans controlled the area north of the Sahara, from the Atlantic Ocean to Egypt, with many sections of limes limes tripolitanus, limes numidiae, etc. In the south of Mauritania Tingitana Romans made a limes in the 3rd century, just north of the area of actual Casablanca near Sala and stretching to Volubilis. Septimius Severus expanded the Limes Tripolitanus dramatically, even briefly holding a military presence in the Garamanchan capital Garama in 203 AD. Much of the initial campaigning success was achieved by Quintus Anicius Faustus, the legate of Legio III Augusta. 
Following his African conquests, the Roman Empire may have reached its greatest extent during the reign of Septimius Severus, under whom the empire encompassed an area of 2 million square miles million square kilometers. Topic See also Limes Roman Empire Antonin Wall Hadrian's Wall Roman Military Frontiers and Fortifications Hannibal topic References topic Bibliography de Agostini 2005. Atlante Storico de Agostini Novara, Istituto Geografico de Agostini. ISBN 88-511-0846-3. Kamer, Augusto and Renato Fabietti. Corso di Storia Antica e Medievale 1 Seconda Edizione. ISBN 88-08-24230-7. Grant, Michael Atlas of Classical History 5th edition. New York, Oxford Univ. Press. ISBN 0-19-521074-3. Scar, Chris The Penguin Historical Atlas of Ancient Rome. London, Penguin. ISBN 0-14-051329-9. Further reading Breeze, David J. 2011. The Frontiers of Imperial Rome. Barnsley, UK, Pen and Sword. Cordovana, Orietta Dora, 2012. Historical Ecosystems. Roman Frontier and Economic Hinterlands in North Africa, Historia 61.4, 458-494. Dyson, Stephen, 1985. The Creation of the Roman Frontier. Princeton, N.J., Princeton Univ. Press. Gambish, Gill, 2015. Rome and Provincial Resistance. London, Routledge. Hexter, Olivier, and Ted Kaiser, eds. 2011. Frontiers in the Roman World, Proceedings of the Ninth Workshop of the International Network Impact of Empire. Leiden, The Netherlands, Brill. Hingley, Richard, 2012. Hadrian's Wall, A Life. Oxford, Oxford Univ. Press. Isaac, Benjamin, 2000. The Limits of Empire, The Roman Army in the East, Rev. ed. Oxford, Oxford Univ. Press. Kepi, Lawrence, 2012. The Antiquarian Rediscovery of the Antonin Wall. Edinburgh, Society of Antiquaries of Scotland. Stirk, Andrea, 2010. Mission from Below, Captive Women and Conversion on the East Roman Frontier, Church History 79.1, 1-39, Zietzman, J.C. 2009. Crossing the Roman Frontier, Egypt in Rome, and Beyond, Acta Classica 52-1-21.